What would you love people at home, not medical people, not experts, just people who are curious and who've got good hearts, what would you like them to take away from our conversation? I think the major thing for me is that, like, Riley is different, yes. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean he's any less than anybody. And I think he's opened my eyes to an absolutely amazing world that I never, ever would have been part of without sure. him. And I just think people need to be more accepting and just see that he is a very, very happy little boy and he wants to learn and he wants to communicate with you. And just because he doesn't do it the same way we do doesn't mean that it's the wrong way. How about you, Caitlin? Are you OK over there? Is there something, <laughs> you have your hands over your ears. Is there anything bothering you? No. You're surviving. OK, you're doing really well. Nicholas, what would you like people at home tonight to take away from our conversation? I think I would like people to take away um, that being kind goes a very, very long way. So true. I felt when I was growing up, I really thrived on praise. I thrived on kindness. Good. And even, and even referring briefly to my film, This is Nicholas Living with Autism, yeah. the local cinema manager, Nina, Helen Gleason has been very, very kind to me, as, as has a man in Nina called Jamie O'Donoghue, and even Irish Rail and Limerick Junction having accommodated me, my, m m m my fabulous parents, my sister. Um, being kind goes a long, long way.